try to simplify this as much as possible. So what I should have in mind, in the back of my mind, I should have definitely this, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. And I should have also the sine theta equals cosine pi over two minus theta or 90 degrees minus theta and vice versa. So if I look at cosine squared 20 degrees, like, so let me also write the other formula. So cosine theta equals sine of 90 degrees minus theta. So when I look at cosine 20, this is the same with sine of 90 minus 20. Why, why did this come up? Why did I even think of it? Because I see here 70 degrees. So I'm not going to write here. I'm going to continue on the next page. So with the triangle. So follow the triangle. So I have 1 minus. Instead of this, I would write sine squared of 90 degrees minus 20 degrees and minus cosine squared 70 degrees. When I perform the calculations, I get 1 minus sine squared oops, 70 degrees minus cosine squared 70 degrees. And I like that. Why do I like it? Is because is because I see sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. But what about negative sine squared minus cosine squared? What will this be? If sine squared plus cosine squared is one, negative sine squared minus cosine squared will be. Negative one. That's it. So all this will be replaced by negative one. You simply multiply both sides, negative, negative, negative. So negative sine 70 <coughs> degrees minus cosine squared of 70 degrees equals negative one. How much is one minus one? one minus one is? Yeah. That's it. Indeed. Okay, let's choose another. Anything you want. 37 to 54. If not, I will. Can we do 38? 38. Excellent. Where is it? 38. I see. Secant squared, 28 degrees minus tangent squared, 28 degrees. Perfect. Excellent. Good. Remember those three identities. I'm going to write them again sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. One plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta. Co tangent squared theta plus one equals a cosecant squared theta. These should be in the back of your mind all the time. So look what I have here secant of 28 squared of 28 degrees is the same with 1 plus tangent squared of 28 degrees. So I will replace this, follow the circle, I will replace this by 1 plus tangent squared 28 degrees minus tangent squared of 28 degrees Goodbye. So the answer is
one. That's it. The simplified form is one. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Okay, would you like to pick another or we continue? We do 50. 50. Where are you 50? I see it. No, oh, 50. I was looking at 52. Sorry. So 50. So we have cotangent 40 degrees minus sine 50 degrees over sine 40 degrees. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay. For now, I'm just going to leave this alone. Sine and sine. But I'm thinking of doing something else to cotangent. What can I replace cotangent 40 degrees by? What is the definition of cotangent? In simple terms. Yeah. One over tangent? Correct. But I don't want one over tangent. It's perfect. It's correct. But I really don't want one over tangent. I have sine here. Cosine over sine? Yes, indeed. Cosine 40 degrees over sine 40 degrees. Perfect. Minus sine 50 degrees over sine sine 40 degrees. I see the same denominator. Okay, I nice. And now I see cosine 40, I see sine 50. I know that this sum is 90 degrees. So I want to use a cofunction identity. I'm going to change this into what? What should I change this into? From cosine 40 into Sign yes. uh, 50. Exactly. Minus sine 50. So what is the answer? Because cosine 40 degrees is the same with sine 90 minus 40 degrees, which is 50. How much is sine 50 minus sine 50? Sine 50 minus sine 50 is? Is it zero? How much is zero over sine 40? Zero. Thank you so much. Zero over sine 40 is zero. Okay, a very simple one for you. Um, So let's work on 40. And please upload that. 40. Tangent 10 times cotangent 10. It should take you 30 seconds. <laughs> 